Meet Donna Designer, Instructional, Instructional Design, Design Superhero. Superhero. Like you, Donna wants to have an impact on an individual's personal learning path, both during and outside of formal blended learning campaigns. But she knows that strategic perpetual learning like that doesn't just happen. What's an instructional design superhero to do? Anticipate. Anticipate learners' moments of need and embed content in the flow of work. Donna had recently read an InSync blog about Conrad Gottfriedson's and Bob Mosher's Five Moments of Learner Need. The first moment of need is about being new. This happens when people are learning how to do something for the first time. The second moment of need is about needing more. This happens when people are expanding on what they've already learned. The third moment of need is about application. This happens when people need to act upon what they've learned, which includes planning what they will do, remembering what they may have forgotten, or adapting their performance to a unique situation. The fourth moment of need is about problem solving. This happens when problems arise, or things break, or don't work the way we anticipated. The fifth moment of need is about change. This happens when people need to learn a new way of doing something, which requires them to change skills that are deeply ingrained in the performance practices. Great question! If we don't anticipate the correct moments of learning need, our learners will find content on their own. This means the learning and development departments will have no influence over the accuracy or applicability of the information. We won't know what people need to learn or if consistent messages are being shared across our learner population. Therefore, we really need to design the entire experience. We need to think about what learners need during and outside of the formal blended learning campaign. Good questions. Let's explore some answers. Technology is certainly part of modern blended learning design, but there's much more to it than that. What's needed most are solid design skills. Design skills are more critical than ever because a less than effective design is so much more obvious in a blended design. All the pieces need to fit and make sense together. Remember, if the blended pieces don't fit, the learners may just quit. <laughs> Modern blended learning design is about three things. Selecting the appropriate instructional strategy, implementing that strategy with the best instructional technique, and deploying that technique with the most suitable instructional technology. An instructional strategy is your approach for addressing the instructional need. Think of the strategy as a frame that you'll then fill with appropriate instructional techniques and instructional technologies. You select an instructional strategy based on both your learners and your content. Instructional techniques, such as those listed here, are chosen to support your selected instructional strategy. For the most part, these techniques are interchangeable in that they all help learners achieve the objectives. However, each produces a different type of experience. You must look at each learning objective individually and think through how best to help learners achieve each objective. Assessment and evaluation requirements will also play a role in determining the appropriate techniques to be used in a blended solution. Instructional technologies include authoring and delivery tools and are used to deploy an instructional method. Again, technology requirement will be determined largely on assessment and evaluation requirements. It will also be impacted by where learners are when they're applying the skill or need the knowledge. We want to deploy learning in the most authentic way possible. For a refresher on instructional technologies, check out InSync's blog series on the topic. That was a lot of information, but knowing the difference between instructional strategies, techniques, and technologies will help you be an, an instructional, instructional design, design superhero, superhero, like Donna Designer. 
Understanding those nuances will help you create a strategic instructional design treatment that makes your content relevant and useful during formal blended learning campaigns and other informal moments of learning need. Happy designing!